Welcome to Needful Things. Sorry, Stephen King. Some of you will get that joke. I want to talk about things that are useful for your violin practice, such as a violin and a bow. Now, the uh, first thing you want to have is the uh, rosin. You use this to get friction on the bow. You do some short strokes on it and then longer strokes. And then you can use that piece of cloth attached to it to clean up the excess rosin. The uh, second thing is a metronome. This is an old fashioned kind of metronome. And it works like this. It's set on four forts right now. I don't know if you can hear the bell. This thing is very useful. It allows you to play in different tempos so you can practice slow and then speed up. Another thing that you want to have is a tuning fork right here to play your A note. You can combine both things with the uh, quartz metronome. This is my personal favorite. Um, let's set it to four fourths and here we have a metronome. You can, you can speed it up, slow it down. You can control the volume. It has an earphone jack. So it, this really works great for me. It's a tuner as well. It can play the tones and you can tune it up or tune it down. And whichever note you could possibly need for any instrument you could possibly own, you can use this thing to tune it. I also highly recommend owning one of these. This is my music stand. I it's a very bad habit to be reading your music directly off the screen. This will protect your eyes in the long run. Let's talk about mutes. This is another very useful thing to have, especially if you're beginning. The way mutes work is there are little attachments like this. This is a practice mute. This smaller one is an orchestra mute. So you attach, this is a one string mute. You attach it on the A string. Let me play a demonstration so you can hear what the violin sounds without mute. Now we're going to put our orchestra mute. Hear the difference. different kinds of orchestra mute and they will pretty much sound the same. You attach some of them on two strings, some of them in one. This one stringer is my personal favorite. Here is a two stringer. It sounds pretty much the same and this is another two stringer. This is a rubber coated practice mute. It won't hurt the uh, bridge and here is the uh, sound difference. And the practice mute, as the name implies, you use that for practicing at home without driving everyone crazy. This is another version of a practice mute. This one's made of metal. It's a little bit heavier, but it mutes the violin even further. Listen to this thing. I'm using the same amount of strength that I used without mute. Hopefully this video has helped you. It gave you an idea of things that are useful to have. I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Have a great day.